Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I am back bringing you science on fasting and the immune system. This is new science. This came out October 2020, and it specifically talks about intermittent fasting and the current situation we are in right now. It talks about viral immunity, specifically this current virus that we are working to stay strong for. So if you're new to my channel, I just want to start off by saying thank you, welcome. If you love what you see here, subscribe. And as always, you guys, if you love this information, send it out into the world. This study is one of the most important that I have seen on our current situation in fasting. And I yet today have to be very careful about words I say so I'm not triggered for censorship. So bear with me as I go through this. Your shares make a big difference on this video. So if you resonate with what you're learning in here, please share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones. So, and as always, I just love being on this journey with you guys. Let's dive in to the study. Okay, I'm gonna read you directly from the study. So here we go. It says that intermittent fat or strengthening the immune system along with maintaining a healthy, li healthy living is the best way to survive this disease. As a healthy practice, cal calorie restriction in the form of intermittent fasting has several clinical settings that have been uh, reported to promote health benefits, including, including priming the immune system. How many of us want our immune system primed right now? Okay, but it goes on to say this dietary restriction also activates autophagy. We're gonna talk about autophagy on here, which is a cellular surveillance system that boosts immunity. It continues, IF, intermittent fasting, could be a potential strategy amid this outbreak to fighting off what we're trying to fight right now and it says that currently there's no research on this particular situation. So what they did is they went and did a comprehensive review on what autophagy does to your viral immune system. So understand this is a review study, it's a meta-analysis. My favorite line of the abstract is this. This review aimed at revisiting the immunomodulary potential of intermittent fasting that may constitute a promising preventative approach against this virus. Just, I'm not gonna say the word, okay? So, October 2020, basically this is saying, you want to boost your immune system right now in 2020, let's understand autophagy and intermittent fasting. Okay, here's what I want you to know. You're supposed to be stimulating autophagy every single day. So there are many ways to stimulate autophagy, and one of the best ways is fasting. Now, I want you to think of autophagy just like you look at changing the oil in your car. You're supposed to be changing the oil in your car. Not every day, you know, you're on a regular basis. So what if you had a car where you didn't change the oil? You maybe even didn't give it oil, and you decided to drive it on a long trip what would eventually happen to that car? It would have a problem. Now, what if it was an old car and you didn't change the oil and you didn't even add oil in and you took that old car on a long trip, wouldn't last very long. That's the same thing as autophagy. If you are not stimulating autophagy, you are not repairing the cells. You are not getting this cellular surveillance. So what does autophagy do for your immune system? Well, it really has one major piece, and that is a regulation of cytokines. Okay, well, we've heard a lot about cytokines in 2020. We've heard about something called a cytokine storm, which is basically a dysregulation of how those cytokines are produced and turned off. Okay, but when we look at this study, this is not my words, this is the study's words, we know that when you stimulate autophagy, you are stimulating both the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. 
So in the innate immune system, when you're stimulating autophagy on a regular basis, what you are doing is you are making your innate immune system more receptive to foreign invaders. Okay, so if you come in contact right now with this particular virus, you're gonna have that innate immune system primed and ready for action. We all want that. Now, what it does when it identifies a new foreign invader is it creates cytokines. Those cytokines organize an army. They are an army of immune system, of your immune system that will go and fight a new virus anywhere it finds that in the body. But this army needs to be turned on and it needs to be turned off. Well, guess what? Autophagy, again, from the article, plays a, and this is, this is their words, not mine, plays an important role in cytokine regulation. So if you're stimulating autophagy right now, you're amping up your innate immune system and you're helping that adaptive immune system and you're regulating that cytokine storm. Awesome, right? This is such an awesome built-in mechanism in our body that viruses know this. So they try to inhibit autophagy and that is the case in what we're seeing right now in this viral world is viruses are smart and they turn off autophagy, and then you have no cytokine regulation. So let's turn it back on. We also know that autophagy really helps with uh, controlling inflammation. We also know that autophagy is amazing for making us more insulin sensitive. Well, when we look at immune compromised population in general, we see that pre-diabetics, diabetics, people with metabolic syndrome, they tend to be more vulnerable. Well, guess what autophagy does? Autophagy makes you more insulin sensitive. That's a really good thing right now. The article also says, which I love, that along with fasting, you can be doing exercise, you can be meditating, you can be eating an anti-inflammatory diet, an antioxidant rich diet, and you should keep your stress low, right? I know what you're all thinking right now. So understand that autophagy becomes part of your toolbox so that you can become less immune compromised. So it doesn't matter if it's this virus or the next one that's coming down the road, we gotta learn autophagy. Now, one other thought before I talk about all the different things we can do to stimulate autophagy and how long you gotta fast, because I know you're thinking that, what, one of the things I love about this article, because it's a meta-analysis, is it talks about what happens if you're in autophagy for a long period of time, or you're fasting for a long period of time, are there other nutrients that you need to think about that are important for your immune system? Yes, there are. So there are three, according to this article, not me, this is research, there are three, vitamin C, D, and zinc. Those three nutrients, if you are gonna go into a longer fast, you may, what their, this is their recommendation, what you may wanna do is supplement with those three uh, nutrients. So I just wanna point, point that out because I know we have all different levels of fasters here and some of you are going to get so excited about this research, you're gonna to wanna to go on a three day water fast over and over and over again. Don't lose sight of those three key nutrients, especially vitamin D. Now you can get vitamin D from the sun, by the way. Go, I did a bunch of videos on vitamin D. There's some impressive research. I've got more current research on vitamin D coming for you guys as well. So how long do you need to fast to stimulate autophagy? Well, I already threw out 17 hours. We know that at 17 hours, think of it like a switch. At 17 hours, you're turning on autophagy. You're turning that, that switch on. Um, I've had some really fun conversations on the Resetter podcast with experts who love, and, and Paul Saladino, who wrote the Carnivore Quote Code, was one of them, that likes to think of this as a dial, like it's a, it's a dimmer switch. And I think that's beautiful. When you stim, uh, stimulate autophagy, you're turning up the light. You're turning up this healing mechanism for your immune system. And the research says that somewhere between 17 to 72 hours is where you are going to be at your best with autophagy. So if you wanna do a three day water fast, awesome. Just keep those, those uh, nutrients in mind. If you want on a regular basis to be doing a 17 hour fast, yeah, right now is a, a really good time according to this research. 
Now, there are other ways we can stimulate autophagy. And any of you who have followed me during uh, autophagy fasting, fast training week, you know the other ways. What's one of the other ways that we really recommend? One of them is keeping your protein under 20 grams. So you can be doing 17 hours of fasting, keeping your protein under 20 grams. And now when you break that fast, you're still staying in autophagy if you don't get that protein over 20 grams. We also know that there's some great evidence on HIIT training, that training where you bring your, your um, heart rate up and down and your oxygen levels up and down. That is also a really good indicator and, and a way to signal autophagy. We're doing this in my Reset Academy every Saturday morning. We're, we're doing an autophagy HIIT workout. So join the Academy. You can join us in that process. We also know some biohacking tools like red light therapy will help with autophagy. There's even some evidence that hyperbaric chambers will help with autophagies. I don't always like to talk about those because I want to give you guys as many free examples as possible. But if you have a juve light, now would be the time to get in that red light. If you have a biohacking clinic that has oxygen therapy near you, get in a hyperbaric oxygen tank. These things are really powerful for the autophagy effect. So let me finish with this thought. You are born in a powerful body that knows what to do when it comes in contact with a foreign invader. You are not going to hear that piece of information on any mainstream media right now. So you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to understand. This is why I will link this article. This is why I put my notes in the notes. This is what we're teaching in our academy. You, I want to give you the power back. And when I saw this study this morning, this meta-analysis that came out October 2020, specifically outlining for this virus the positive effects of intermittent fasting, and when it says that this may be a good thing to do for prevention, why the heck wouldn't we do it? Why don't we go into belief again? So I wanted desperately to bring you guys this new research so that you can start thinking for yourself. You own this. Don't let anybody take it from you. You've got to be the one that controls the way this thing thinks. And so when I bring you science, when I bring you information, question me. That's fine. You should question all your doctors. You should question the news. You should question everybody who's bringing you information on this particular topic. And you should think for yourself. And this article hopefully will help you do it. So autophagy, let's stimulate autophagy. Let's boost our innate and adaptive immune system. And as always, I hope this helps. Let me know what your favorite fast is. Let me know if the, after this video, you're gonna start doing some autophagy fasting. Go check out the playlist that I have on autophagy fasting. We've talked about it over and over again on this channel. You're a miracle. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. I'm cheering you on.